greetings good people welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to barbados <laughs> oh should i say rihados <laughs> that's what uh what is his name dj khalid was saying rihados <laughs> rihanna's barbados welcome to barbados so it's evening time and uh well I've uh, decided to go on a drive to the northernmost point of the island to meet with some friends and some followers on this island and of course I've had an amazing experience came here for crop over it's been uh, absolutely amazing thanks to this gentleman here soccer empire dot com <laughs> thank you so much chad for making this possible for me welcome, yeah i absolutely appreciate that appreciate the experience you so you're so kind so available anything i needed you are always there <laughs> thank you so much Thanks and yeah and i'm saying this because uh my time in barbados is almost coming to an end and I was to stay here longer unfortunately I have other engagements elsewhere and flights are sold out the weekend and the whole of next week yet I'm supposed to be somewhere by next week so the next available flights were like almost after two weeks you know during this time of the year all re all roads all flights lead to barbados so whatever you do ensure that the last week of july and the first week of august you are in barbados this is where it all goes down everything exciting all if you're stressed you just come and let go this is a month this is a time to celebrate freedom this is a time to celebrate emancipation so if you are not in barbados if you missed it out this time around don't worry next year is coming just plan in advance because if you don't do in advance tickets flights all those get sold out and you might miss out on an opportunity like uh, my flight out was delayed in booking like i delayed booking my ticket out so that's why i couldn't get when i wanted and i have to leave sooner than i thought i would be but don't worry barbados is home i will always be back here this is the very first country i visited in the caribbean this is the very very first country I visited in the Caribbean and I'm happy to be here and I'll always make sure that I'm here at least once or twice every year so <laughs> let me show you let me show you where we are we are in the northernmost parish of the island it's called St. Lucy the only female island that's named after a female St. Lucy yeah, the only female parish. <laughs> I said island. <laughs> the only female parish on the island. So yeah, let's go on a drive. Wow. Breathtaking sunsets. damage during Hurricane Barrel a few weeks ago. Oh, during Hurricane Barrel? This entire road was covered in sand and seawater. What about the buildings on the sides here? Yeah, Were they affected? Off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this section of the island was affected? Yeah. Wow. Anywhere where there was sea uh -huh. exposure Barrow just pushed this ocean into the road. As you can see here, part of the road is still damaged. Oh, so this is damage from burial. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. It broke the road. Yeah. 
Damn, burial. Almost uprooted some trees. Oh, yeah, you can tell the road is broken. Yeah. Nasty burial. So this is sent. Do you want to tell me this sand was from burial? Pardon? This heap of sand was from burial? Yes. Yeah. Looks like so much sand just heaped around the tree. Yeah. Wow. So this is now Half Moon Fort St. Lucie. It so in St. Lucie. Yeah. It was Northern Parish in where it is. Okay. The roads are quite narrow here. So you have to put in case anyone is approaching with on, on the wrong side of your road. Yeah, and high speed. Yeah. It'll be this area kind of reminds me of Tobago. Oh Tobago, yeah, yeah, yeah. It has that Tobago ish feeling. And you know, with climate change, these roads will be getting smaller and smaller. I have a right. feeling that the way you see how the sea took part of the road on that side, yeah. rebuilding that side, it's possible, but chances are. If anything like that happens, it's gonna claim it again. Yes. Yeah. So, living at the beachfront is nice. Having property at the beachfront is nice. Until the storm passes. Oh, yeah. And it's gonna take a lot. You know, families living in these communities could tell you that Growing up, they probably had like 10, 20 meters of beachfront. Uh huh. When their grandparents bought the land. And over time, with climate change, 20 meters of beachfront property steadily became 5 meters. Oh, wow. So, climate change is a nasty thing, and when you come to the Caribbean, you can see it in life action. Yeah. With our revolt storms, the sea is gradually reclaiming the island. Check a hole. This is the most northern parish. Yeah. So we are approaching the top of the island. Approaching the top of the island. On top of the world. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Barbados is one of those islands that when you are landing, you're gonna see the whole island. Yeah. And you can go around the island in like maybe two, three, two to three hours. Yeah. If you have a, a vehicle with good clearance. Yeah. yeah. Once you know the roads and you know yeah. where you're going. Evening drives in Barbados. I would do this. I actually love this parish. It's quiet. It's quiet. It's kind of country-ish. Yeah, yes. And you can just do like an evening drive for therapy. <laughs> <laughs> like driving sometimes is therapy for me. Like yeah. when I'm home and I'm bored, tired, or just stressed, I right, just go to the open roads, not the main highways, like smaller roads, and just drive, you know, see children playing in the countryside, oh, yes. just seeing you people know, and all Sunday that. Evening, you eat our Sunday lunch, yeah, and just go for a nice slow drive 
Yeah. So it came in nice country breeze. Yeah. It's clean and it's precious. Yeah, the the air here is different. Low pollution and what's not. Yeah. And if you are a lover of astronomy, it's perfect as well. Set your telescope up uh -huh. at night and see the heavens above. See the skies. Wow, this is a well-maintained lawn. Yes. If I was staying in Barbados, I wouldn't mind staying here and farming. Yeah. I would stay here and be a farmer, not sugarcane. <laughs> I see some sugarcane here. Yeah. Actually, did you know that sugarcane, not sugarcane, ram, started being made the origin of ram is barbados mount gay ram right yes, the, oldest yeah. ram in the, world. the oldest ram in the world invented ram. <laughs> barbados invented ram so the oldest ram in the world is from this beautiful country and coincidentally we are also in st lucy where mount gay had its origins oh, mount so gay was founded in st lucy Oh, okay. So this is the parish. Oh my goodness, I love the breeze. Is it that this place is colder than the other, than the south? The yes, south you can say that at sometimes the yeah, later in the evening. because the air here feels different. It yes. feels like it's breezy. Also because of the trees and the nature. It's beautiful, man. Yeah. It's Here really we have St. Lucy Parish Church on the left. Yes, yeah, St. Lucy Parish Church. It's beautiful. Yes, it is. Welcome to St. Louis. The only female Paris. Yes, the only female Paris on the island. Yeah. The other St. James, St. Michael, St. Philip, St. Thomas, St. George. St. Thomas. Yes, St. Joseph. St. Andrew. St. Andrew. Yes, St. Joseph. <laughs> Also, I know the parishes here. <laughs> yes, you do. Christ Church. Yeah. The Christ Church is not saint. Yeah. Yeah. So Christ Church is the only parish that's not a saint. Yeah. <laughs> now that I'm doing this, I feel like next time I'll be here, I want to do again. I want to just drive around the island again. I mean, I've done this before, but I want to do it again. Yeah. Just be careful with the bus on your hand. Yeah. St. Lucy's Primary School. It's here? No. Okay. It's so quiet. It's so peaceful out here. I love it. Nice, quiet, peaceful. Cellar Methodist Church. No traffic, 
If you love yard falls, like me, you can dry your yard falls here. <laughs> Those looks like houses. You see that? That looks like a place they rearing yard fowl. See that 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 structure there? Yeah. You see? It could be a yard fowl farm. That one. Let me look. Yes, that's yard fowl over there. Told you. Yeah. Told you. See, that's where you come and rear your yard fowl. It is yard fowl actually. I'm seeing them. Wow. Interesting. Oh, this is an interesting car. Kia. Kia. They don't say Kia. How do you say? Kia. Kia. Yeah. They don't say Kia. <laughs> Kia. Not car. You say Kia. That's a Kia. My Kia. My Kia is so small. I bet property here might be cheaper. Yes, it is. And I'll come and buy property here and make it the super platinum cost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this one would be the, 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 the more, this one would be more than platinum cost. Yeah. We start a community of super platinum. Oh, what? Ruby. Which one is more precious? Gold cost, platinum cost. What's more precious than platinum? Ah, you may call it diamond cost. Diamond, diamond cost. Yeah. Diamonds. Gold is more precious than plat. Uh, I'll call it Tanzanite. I know Tanzanite ah, yeah. is precious. Tanzanite cost. Tanzanite is more expensive than gold and all that. Oh wow! See. The real countryside, you can be doing farming here. This is now the place I would want to stay most of the time here. Then the weekend I go, <laughs> go have fun <laughs> in the city, then come back here in the week. I love to see crops grow. I love to see things grow, not just crops, crops, animals, but animals too much to take care of and because they have a life. But crops have a life too, but they are crops, you know, they are food. <laughs> They're easier. They're easier, yeah. You know, you never saw a potato walking away. Huh? <laughs> you never saw a potato walking away. Yeah, yeah, potatoes don't walk away. Yeah. yeah. But if you have a cow and all, like a farm you can go for a week and you'll come, it will be fine without you worrying, worrying about anything. But if you have like cows and all that, you have to be there, like you have to leave somebody to take care of it. Yes. But Crops like maize. Once you pull the seed, the seed on the ground, the rain will fall. The rain will fall and it will germinate. Yeah. All right. So this part, I mean, as you bring your hand inside. Yeah. Because of the bush. Yeah. Barbados is beautiful. Beautiful Barbados.